In statistical analysis, the standard significance tests employed to estimate probability values use what is known as the asymptotic method. In layman's terms, this basically means assuming that the sample size is large enough in order to do the test. The problem with that is, when datasets are very small or certain subgroups are sparsely populated, standard asymptotic tests can't be relied upon to provide exact probabilities. Because of the limitations associated with the asymptotic approach, IBM SBSS exact test provides two additional methods for calculating significance levels. Both of these methods provide a means of obtaining accurate results when your data are unlikely to provide reliable results using the standard asymptotic method. The additional methods are, firstly, the exact method, a computationally intensive procedure that returns an exact probability, and it's useful when working with very small samples. The second method is the Monte Carlo method, which returns accurate probabilities and is calculated by repeatedly sampling subsets of data. In general, the exact test method can be performed quickly with sample sizes of less than 30. However, calculating exact test results can be computationally intensive, time-consuming, and can sometimes lead to you exceeding the memory limits of your machine. And if that happens, you may use the Monte Carlo method instead. Let's take a look at an example. So in this example, we can see a standard asymptotic chi-square test. And we have three different treatment types, standard treatment, experimental treatment, and placebo, of which there are only two occurrences. Then we have four outcomes, improved, no change, worse, and died. And what we notice is when we look at the chi-square test, the Pearson chi-square test indicates that this is a not a significant relationship using asymptotic significance. And likelihood indicates that it is. So we've got some sort of disagreement here. If we run an exact test, we'll be able to detect whether or not this is a statistically significant relationship or not. So to run the exact test on the same data set, we need to only call up our crosstabs that we did earlier on, go to exact, switch on exact test away from asymptotic, click continue and OK. And the exact test probability, which is shown here, shows that it is less than 0 0.05 and therefore we would regard it as a statistically significant relationship. We can also apply exact tests to non-parametric tests, in this case a k-independent samples test. Using the standard asymptotic test, we find out that there is uh, no need to reject the null hypothesis. It's a non-significant result, whereas if we use a Monte Carlo exact test, we would reject the null hypothesis because it provides us with a more exact probability and in fact provides us also with confidence intervals for those probabilities.